Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about how to conduct the Mann-Whitney U test, also known as the Wilcoxon Rank Sum Test, using R. The Mann-Whitney U, also known as Wilcoxon Rank Sum Test, is a non-parametric method appropriate for examining the difference in medians for two independent populations. This can also be thought of as a way of examining the relationship between a numeric outcome or y variable and a categorical explanatory or x variable when the groups formed by the explanatory variable are independent. We will be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. We will explore the relationship between smoking and lung capacity. We can use the wilcox.test command to conduct this non-parametric test. To access the help menu in R, type help and in brackets the name of the command you would like help for. Or simply throw a question mark in front of the name of the command. Before conducting the test, it can be useful to examine a box plot of the data. Here we can examine the relationship between lung capacity and smoking. Now, let's go ahead and test the null hypothesis that the median lung capacity of smokers is equal to that of non-smokers. Let's also go ahead and conduct a two-sided test. We can do this test in R using the wilcox.test command. Here we would like to compare lung capacities for smokers and non-smokers. We can set the mu argument equal to zero to test that the difference in medians is zero. We can use the alt argument to specify that we would like a two-sided alternative. We can use the conf.int argument and set this equal to true to have a non-parametric confidence interval returned to us. We can use the conf.level argument to set the level of confidence we would like for our confidence interval. We can set the paired argument equal to false or simply capital F to let R know that these groups are not paired, that they are independent. Finally, we can set the exact argument equal to true if we would like to have an exact p-value computed, not an approximate one. And we can set the correct argument equal to true if we would like R to use a continuity correction. We can see the test statistic of 20128, the p-value of 0 0.0055, the 95% confidence interval of negative 1.399 up to negative 0.2499, as well as the difference in medians of negative 0.8. We can also see a warning from R, letting us know that the exact p-value and exact confidence interval cannot be calculated when there are ties in the ranks of observations. As noted earlier, we can set the exact argument equal to false if we would not like to have exact p-values and confidence intervals calculated. You can also note the change in p-value and confidence interval are fairly minimal. It's worth noting that all of the arguments set in the initial command we provided to R are the default values except for the conf.int argument equal to true. R will not return a confidence interval unless we specifically ask for this. In the next video in this series, we will discuss the paired t-test and how to conduct this test using R. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.